Hi, this is Arnie McKinnis. I'm with 31 Events and Calendar Snack. I'm getting ready to show you how quickly you can create an event, test it, and embed it both within a uh, web page. I'm using WordPress and a MailChimp campaign. So those things, I'm going to go through a full-blown test. So I'm going to start my countdown clock here in just a second. I want to show you real quickly what I've got. Obviously, I've got my Gmail up. This is for my demo 30 uh, calendar snacks uh, account on Gmail. I have a uh, page that is my calendar snack summary page over here that gives you the instructions if you went to beta.calendarsnack.com. Then I have my WordPress page over here. And then I have my MailChimp campaign that I'm going to go do uh, insert my link for. So we're going to go create a brand new calendar event. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our Google Calendar. Ah, and I'm grabbing the wrong place. We're going to go to Google Calendar and create a new event. We're going to go ahead and create it for the end of October at 10 a.m. on Monday. So I'm going to go to more options to get the full-blown options for my event. And this is going to be calendar snack demo speed test. And I need to go ahead and start my countdown clock right now because I'm in calendar. So I've got my title for it. I'm going to add my location. And this is, I'm just going to put the home page in, calendarsnack.com. I'm not going to put a lot of detail into my message, but obviously this would be the message area. So this is speed test for calendar snack with testing. That's all I'm going to do. Then I'm going to invite my guest, which is me, Calendar Snack, and that is new at sk3l.net. I'm going to take my little uh, extra tick marks out. And I'm going to save it. It's going to ask me to send it, so I'm going to send it. So now I've created the event and sent it. Now I'm going to go back to my home page and there it is I've got my calendar snack confirmation already so let's go click on it and then I'm gonna pop up my summary page my calendar snack summary page I'm gonna slide it over here and this is all the events that we this is the event we just created October 22nd Monday 10 a.m. it's all set up and now what I want to do is send a test out of my calendar snack summary. So I'm going to send the send it to cal snack test and then the email is cal snack demo at gmail.com. I'm going to send it and then what we will see is that we will see a uh, RSVP, an invitation come up for our event that we just created and we just tested. So it's up there, speed test for calendar event, the right time and date, and it's right now on there and it is, it's there. It's also on my calendar here, although it was recreated. So it's there. And now what we want to do is I want to go get the code for my web page embed. So I'm back over here. Um, I've got WordPress up. I'm going to go to the, the component of this, the text component. I'm going to go grab my code. So I'm going to copy that and go into my page. I'm going to embed it. I'm going to go back to the visual view. It's there. I'm going to update it. And then now I'm going to preview that page. 
And what you will see is that that embed is right there. So now I'm going to test the embed inside my WordPress page. So I'm going to call this Cal Snack WordPress. Use the same one. So Cal Snack demo at gmail.com. I'm going to send the invite through my web page. I'm going to come back over here to my invitee detail and what you'll notice is that it's here on my detail cal snack wordpress now it's the same email address so it didn't count it as a second invitation i'm going to go back to my inbox and sure enough now i have a second one right there now what i'm going to go do while i'm in my so so now we have two we have this one that was sent through my test. We have one that was sent through the web page embed. So we'll go back here. And now what I want to do is I want to go edit my campaign. So I'll edit my design in MailChimp. And I've got it all set up. What I want to do is I want to add a link to that so now I go back over to my code go down to my MailChimp CTA link I copy that I come back in here and I paste it in I save and close and now I'm going to save and close my campaign then I'm going to come back over here I'm going to send a test and I'm going to send it back to CalSnack Demo. Send. It's off. We should see here in just a second a new RSVP. There it is. It came into promotions because it's coming from my campaign. And so there it is. There's my Cal snack email that came in through MailChimp. If I say invite me, it's going to go through and land on my landing page, which is right here. I can change that if I want to. But if I go back to my inbox, what you'll notice now is now I have three invitations. All three of them are there. All three tests that I just did are all in my inbox and within less than seven minutes I actually created a test and embedded a calendar invitation that would send through either my web page, a MailChimp campaign, and I also did a test out of my summary. Now that is pretty slick. So just wanted to show you that. And, uh, you know, that's what you can do with the calendar snacks. So again, this is Arnie McInnes. I'm with calendar snack at 31 events. Uh, start using calendar invitations in your, in your campaigns on your web pages. Cause remember if it's not on the calendar, it doesn't exist. We'll talk to you later. Bye.